So uh, we have a, a, a rather nice animation, which will give you um, actually the top four choices. Uh, and, then, uh, <laughs> and, then, uh, and then I'll explain why it's a top four. So if we can run the animation. <laughs> so I'd like to actually announce the points on this because I think that also might be a guide in terms of your own vote, vote, voting or not. Uh, indeed, it might be a provocation not to vote the way that the jury has voted. But the votes were as follows. For um, uh, Beit al Karum, one vote, so that meant, means it didn't qualify. For Zanelli Mulholi, one vote, which means it didn't qualify. Uh, for Sami Be Be Jolly, um one vote, which means uh, Beloji, sorry, Beloji means one vote, which means it didn't qualify. Uh, for Museum of Public Concerns, two votes. For Ruan Grupa, two, two votes, which meant that they both came equally in third place, and we decided to put them both through to the vote, as there's enough of us here, I think, to, uh, to be able to separate one from the other. Um, for Beta Local, the Puerto Rican project, three votes. And for Silent University, five votes out of five. We were meant to say the chart, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it gives an idea. So, we have... <laughs> So we have, uh, we have four candidates from Tool to Tool, Museum of Public Concerns, the Silent University, and the Gerobak Bioscope. Um, these are, um, as we know, we've had quite a discussion about them already, um, but I think it would be interesting now to ask the question not which is the best project, how does it match our criteria. Um, those are obviously considerations that I hope you'll all take in to, conser uh, to consideration when you're voting yourselves on the, uh, on the final winner. I'm going to ask you to vote for one person only. In this case, there's not a shortlist. Um, but I would like to st start and really to end the discussion with the question, who do we want to win this prize? So this prize means the visible prize and why. So who do we want to win this prize and why? So this is a visible prize supported by Xenia Foundation and by Pistoletto Foundation. It has a particular ambition, which is to think about how art can cross over that enclosure which isolates itself from the rest of society and connect with other, not only disciplines, but other people, other kinds of practices. Uh, but th that art can be a tool, let us say that, in, in our arte util terms, a tool which can function outside that to offer some difference. Yeah, I think it's very important, a lot of the consideration that we've had is in terms of what, that may, what allows this project to create a possibility of difference in the world which would not otherwise exist. Yeah, so what is it, what is it in, in a sense it's an imaginative, possibility that it creates, yeah? the possibility to imagine the world otherwise perhaps, the possibility to construct a social relation that otherwise could not be imagined, could not be imagined and could not even be actualized. So this relationship between the imagination of possibility and the actualization, the, the, the functioning, seems to be very important in relation to this particular prize. So therefore we're not necessarily saying which is the best project, we're saying which should be the visible award winner. And I think that's a slightly different question. Um, so I'd like to ask the jury in order, starting actually with Jana, to talk a little bit about the relationship um, between the four, or you can pick anyone to talk about, either negatively or positively, to talk about why you think one should not win or why you think one should win this visible award. Jana, could you pick one to start? I know it's unfair, but somebody has to start. You'll get a second go if you want to. <laughs> um. I think for me, um, th from this selection of four, I, I, I personally think that, that given the visible award and what it wants to do, I think uh, Beta Local would be the, the project which I think would, uh, yes, <laughs> uh, no, would, would be, uh, that would be a lot to, uh, to, um, to gain there, although I have to say I, I was also critical about some of the, the, the proposed projects, but I think it would help them to further uh, some of the work they are doing, and, and I think that is important. Uh, so, there you go. 
Would you like to have a negative comment on any of them? I think that's also, would you like to have a negative comment on any of them? I think that's also important to consider. Um, ones that you would be rather disappointed if the public, and, and ourselves indeed, because we've become part of the public at this moment, um, but, uh, would also uh, would vote for. Would there be one that you'd say really don't do it for any reasons? I, th I think um, from this, this four, I think the Museum of Public Concern is the one that, to me, is not yet an implicated project. So I, I would go for uh, at least the three that are already, in one way or another, implicated. So, yeah. Great. Thanks a lot, Jana. Um, Tanya? Okay. I'm going to go around the whole of the audience, you know, with the same question, yeah, yeah. so prepare yourself. So, I think um, I will uh, give it to... Are we supposed to give the price to? No? Yeah, that's what you asked. Oh, okay. I think a positive and a negative. Out of these four, which would you put at the top and which would you put at the bottom? Because it's a okay. competition. I think... Um, I think... A, uh, we should think uh, when people vote and have a final decision that not always the um, like um, that for example uh, okay I'm going to go case by case maybe it's easy I think that Beta Local is a very good uh, uh, excellent project because it is a complex intellectually humanly and social project that create uh, new ways to, for people to interact with knowledge and with their own capability as um, active citizens and uh, to generate um, a, a kind of uh, motor inside an, an area that is not uh, being seen as a kind of social um, movement. So I think this is an extremely good project. Um, also, and, and also in relation to the visible award itself. Uh, so yeah, was yeah, kind yeah of the exactly. Address. And I think the fact that it's a project that is extremely complex and it's not a one-line project uh, makes it important that the visible award is given to something like this because um, it, it makes us understand that social art practice is more complex than just making a one-line about something. Um, and it's a process. And his effort, his dedication, his commitment, uh, and he has to have some real results. And um, so I strongly uh, think it will uh, also give a lot of hope to other people doing these kind of projects uh, that are not so visible and not so like darlings in the art world, but they are really working in the community and for those people and focusing on that so they don't have time to make um, promotion of themselves. So I think it's important to value that. Um, I think the Silent University also could be a nice uh, project because um, it forces, as we have said, uh, it, will, it will signal, if we give the prize to Silent University, it will signal the need that social art practice also push institutions to be civic institutions and not only places to store things. Um, and also because hopefully immigrants will be valued in a better way which is my own personal thing too. Um, and I think uh, the job, um, sorry. Uh, I also voted for this and I think the, the visible award will be very nice for them because again, sometime when you have been 13 years doing something, you need this kind of recognition to give you a little hope to continue for a second wave uh, because at this point, People kind of forget your project. You are not in the news, quote to quote, anymore. And having somebody who experienced the project and telling us all of these 24 hours and thing really moved me. And really, is a, is a, you know, it's a, it's a lesson for all of us to 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 see this. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. This is what I think. Thanks a lot, Tanya. Thank you. If I think we'll go around and then I'm going to go to the public. So. Okay. Um I'm only going to speak about the silent university. And I'll tell it through a story. 
Recently, I had an opportunity to meet a minister for our government who was both Minister for the Arts and the Minister for Immigration. Just before that, mini, that meeting, my nine-year-old daughter asked me about why there's so much discussion on the, on the radio and on the TV about refugees. I tried to explain the two sides of the story that is often reported in the newspapers and on the radios and on the TV to her. She listened and said, but Daddy, if people want to come to our country, we should think that's a good thing. And I said, why, darling? And she said, because they are bringing good things to our country and there's more of them to help us. And I thought to myself, it's a very simple point, that people are bringing good things and that this is something that might add to our country. Now, um, that of course is the simple narrative that is absent in all the popular discourse that exists in my country about immigration. The immigration story is about order versus chaos, about accommodation versus burdens, about um, the destruction of a way of life or the costs of um, resettling people and so on and so forth. And the worst case scenarios are, are the, the violence that's done to these people through detention and through displacement, etc., etc. Now, what I think is very powerful about the Silent University project, apart from everything that we've said previously, is also that it turns the attention back to the host. It turns the attention back to the host in order to think about the violence we do through silence. The violence that we do through ignoring the good that is brought to us and the violence that we do by rendering that potential that capacity, that knowledge, invisible. And if one project can make visible something that we've learned to become aloof to, inaudible, and to have rendered you know, mute and silent, then I think that would be a great outcome. Thanks a lot. Well, uh Nico said it all for me. <laughs> I was already preparing my... Uh, I mean, it's, uh, for me, it's clearly the silent university also. And I may repeat myself because I really um, think that uh, it is a very novel way uh, of, of treating knowledge as an artistic material. And even just for that, I think it's expanding our understanding of uh, artistic practice, even so, even more so when it's related to a subject that is highly political and that affects us on a daily basis. We may acknowledge it or not, we are complicit of a lot of this silencing. And, uh, and this is a reality that is not only uh, real in the Western world. I mean, most of the refugees are within uh, the territories. Uh, I mean, the high majority, and these are statistics that are true. I'm not good at figures, but I know that the high majority of refugees are not those who make it to the West, are those who are migrating among, I mean, in the neighborhood, I mean, in the, in the, in the, continent, right? in the continent. So, uh, be it in Africa, in Latin America, in Asia, and so on. So, and, uh, and when it comes to, uh, 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 to the West, only really higher educated people can really make it here, and uh, uh, generally. So, um, and, uh, and I really think that it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, um, 
in context to the visible award, Nikos, Nikos already said it, to make that visible and to make it, to make it, uh, uh, to draw people's attention to the fact that, uh, be them refugees, be them migrants, that this group of people is an enrichment. Beyond the fact that it is an enrichment, they come with high, I mean, uh, highly educated most of the time, and, uh, and that education cannot be applied, cannot be, uh, consumed cannot be uh, used due to structural and prejudice basically that is uh, that is at play because i don't really think that language is so much of an issue My, one can learn a language one can have programs to integrate people uh, when the language is a, is a is a barrier so and uh, to talk about, uh, I really, uh, that's why I think that uh, 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 the Silent University should, uh, should win the award. And also the, the capacity or the potentiality of this, of this project to be reproduced, to be uh, re uh, reenacted in different places with or without the artist. Basically, there, he can draw a protocol that can be used and applied by, by other people in different places and also have kind of their own kind of lives, their own reality within the different kind of context that they would then find them, themselves in. So, um, I mean, I'm very, very seduced by uh, Beta Local, I mean, from tool to tool. Uh, but I think that uh, if we are to establish a hierarchy of, uh, of importance and of urgency, the silent university is tackling, is addressing an issue that I think is more important than what Beta Local are doing even though to do it in a very, you know, uh, um, I mean, a very good way. So... Uh, Thanks. Yeah. That's great. Thanks a lot, Koya. Michelangelo. Uh, yeah, I think that the silent university is uh, what I, I is, is the most exciting project for me because, because uh, it's a very, it's this, has the same meaning of Visible, that is trans transfer the invisible invisibility, and uh, in in no voice in voice, um, no no uh, no power in kind of power, in in, in the relation with what uh, for me it's uh, it's uh, con uh, the basic concept of politics is to love difference as a base. And, and putting this idea of different knowledge together and, and to create this uh, communication of, uh, of knowledge. Uh, it's an uh, enrichment that it has, um, now we can, uh, it can go both sides, uh, everywhere, both sides. We have a double, a double direction. Huh? We, have, we have two, two, two positions. It's, uh, the country where you are and and the and the country where you you, you are you were <laughs> and see this is this is what is important it is the great great uh, necessity of communication and and uh, friend friendship as you, as you said before um, i think i think that finally artist um, has to to forget to be unique and alone Artists has to to think that uh, they have to think uh, 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 number two basically, uh, number two, and with the number two together, you make the the new dynamic that is the third element that that never was uh, existed before, and this is the element of creativity. We have to put always two things together, and in in minimum. And, and when, when you start with that, you create a social dynamic, huh? that it becomes two, four, six, thousand, millions, yeah. Yeah. but starting from two. Huh? 
Uh, and this, I, I think, is, is a, and this university, it can be a good principle to offer the, pos, uh, the, the, the people to, to, to be combined and, and, and teaching. Because university means, it, it means knowledge. It means, it, 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 it means creativity. It means uh, universal. Voila. Perfect. Thank you, Michelangelo, and thank you to all the, the jury members. I think it's uh, interesting that two uh, favorites are kind of emerging out of the four. That's the Silent University and Beta Local, um, one of which is, uh, is, is distinguished by its simplicity in a certain sense, the offer, the clear offer of a, of a model which can be applicable, as, as uh, Nikos um, put it um, earlier than his um, uh, extraordinary uh, um, Playdoy just now, as, as something that could be applied in almost any major city throughout the globe. Um, and, uh, and the other one, Beta Local, which is in a sense distinguished by its complexity. <laughs> so in other words, by the fact that everything is connected and somehow the forest is connected to the, um, the walking around the, uh, Puerto Rico to the production of clothes. And this interconnection yeah. is uh, in some ways the opposite of the silent university and yet they both um, result in some complex relationships but from different means. So we have two extremes perhaps. Can I say something? But also I think it's very symptomatic of exactly where this practice is at the moment. There is one side that is going through the institution of art to be realized, which is silent university at this point. And there is another practice that goes alternative and create its own alternative to the institution that exists, which is beta local. So I think this is very symptomatic. And I think that's also yeah. about a, a, a certain yeah. of the possibility of reform within the existing structure and the possibility of setting up parallel structures which would eventually, I think, come to replace the existing structure. Exactly. So it's about, it's about the fact that the existing structures are inadequate, which I think okay. is, the, is, the, is the key point that we're all addressing here. You know, what we have is not good enough, whether it's museums or art spaces or the art system and its distribution. If that's not good enough, how do you get it better? How do you, how do you make it possible for it to do the things that we need to do it? And one is to run it entirely in parallel, independently, and the other is to try and reform the system as it exists. Both are valid, I think, and I think that's what we're saying in, the, in, in these two structures, that both are valid and, and, and uh, realistic and, uh, and appropriate forms of approach to that question. But the inadequacy of the current system is very important, I think, to, to mark as well. I'd like to go to Maybe the we should have two prices. Go to one? Maybe we should have two prices, no? Well, yeah. two prizes are also a possibility. I did get a, uh, um, a, an SMS from, uh, uh, from Bina Choi, who was here in the morning. Yeah. And I'd just like to, to read it out, actually, because it's quite a, an interesting one um, from Bina, um, where, where she says, uh, uh, I offered her actually a vote in lieu of uh, her going away because she had been for most of the day and then she had to go. And she said, uh, I'm thinking of a quite outstanding commonality in the selection, making things viral creating a movement while reappropriating re digital tools. What aesthetics it generates is something to discuss, but concerning today, I face the impossibility of selecting one winner, which in turn addresses the system of awarding and getting a winner. And I'm thinking whether it would be meaningful to think of creating a temporary commons by asking what assets and capitals each project organizers have in relation to the different contexts of operation, and accordingly whether 25,000 can be distributed over different projects. It may need more time to research, yet sharing this thought is how I would like to use my vote that you generously gave me. Um, I don't, I think that's a complex, I'll come to you in a minute, I think it's a complex idea, but maybe it's also in parallel to this award that we could see whether the, the 10 shortlisted finalists or even these four could communicate with each other and see what commonalities and what commons might be generated uh, within the projects themselves. Just to see that as an exercise seems to me for Judith and, and, uh, and Matteo to be an interesting, uh, an interesting process to follow. Can I turn to the public? I've got a question over there. Thank you. Um, to say uh, uh, the silent university is something that for me, for me uh, I also think it's uh, yeah, wonderful and should uh, put a lot of t t attention on that. But uh, I think they get it by themselves. So uh, I just throw in a coin and say like, okay, give the, the award to them and the money to a project that is really needs it. Very nice. 
very nice proposal, and that's uh, that's. I, I, we're going to carry that. It happens sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm sure Ahmed would be delighted. But um, no, I think that's a really nice proposal. I, I need to think about how we could handle that in terms of the voting. But I think it's a very, very nice proposal. Um, have I w any other? comments or suggestions that radically change the whole process of the prize they're very welcome <laughs> I think just just a comment I think yeah. I think the money issue is very relative because I mean anybody could say okay maybe you know one of these projects can get another grant in one month so I wouldn't you know make somebody like more in need than others because we don't really know need about their economy and if they are here they all need this money so I wouldn't you know, because otherwise we enter in this kind of stereotypes who needs it more than others, which I don't think it's appropriate. And another thing, the reason why we do it public is also because we want to offer the project the visibility and also to work in the coming months to eventually, if we manage, to, to get other grants that we can even perhaps distribute. But this is something we are working on. So, of course, it's, it's interesting to know that other people think that there should be other uh, yeah, grants connected to Visible. And it's we also, also something agree. to think about for next year as well. We can get a new foundation on board and then we can do the, the prize for the best one and the prize for the one that needs the money the most. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome to help. Yeah. Uh, with pleasure. <laughs> Are there any other comments? Does everybody know how they're going to vote? Does, if anybody's in doubt and they'd like some clarification of any points, we'd be happy to hear. Otherwise, we might move to the voting. People happy if we move to the voting? Do they feel they've got enough information? Yes, please. One question maybe to you, Matteo. Uh, why has the audience, I mean, I totally enjoyed this whole structure, you know that, that's why I came. I think it's wonderful to involve an audience with the jury process. But why have we not been uh, entitled to uh, select the three best projects and only one? This has been I wanted to vote for three projects. Okay, the, but 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 to be fair, I mean, you would have to vote for one in the end because there is only one win winner. So I mean, we rather than going through a process of two public votes, which that would have required, it seemed better to use the jury and the discussions that we had to some point. Otherwise, it would have been a pointless con conversation in some way because the vote would have gone immediately to the public. Logistical, but also to give to give a focus to our discussion as a jury, so that so that the jury had a role and the public had a role, rather than it being being one or the other. So it was to try and combine, to, to give a function to both, uh, to both uh, stages. So the public ultimately has the choice, but already 10 were made, and now ends up with four, and now, and now it's over to you. And we become the public. We also have our one vote, I would like to no, but say. Also, also, I feel in yeah. terms of giving power, it's much better that we were kind of the depository of everybody's comment and make like kind of like a conclusion on everybody's comment. And then you have the actual power to decide who is the winner. I think the audience, this is stronger, I guess, no? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess if a majority of you wrote in another project, we would have to accept that, but I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Otherwise, we'll, we'll go. I'm looking around. feel I can't see anybody begging to say anything, so that means that everybody is satisfied. The wonders of democracy. <laughs> and, um, so um, we move to the voting system. I'm going to hand over to Matteo, I think, or to you, to Matteo, to, um, to, to tell us how we're going to vote. Yes. The, so, no, 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 no. So no, now, no. We're, now we're all equal. It's not public. Except for Matteo and you, who don't get a vote. <laughs> we are the only ones completely, yeah, without a vote. No, uh, logistically speaking, basically, we ask you to, to write the vote. And you can leave the room. We, Judith and I will be at the door, so you can give us the card. And you can go towards the dinner, and then the announcement of the winner will be made uh, in, the, in the dinner place. In the, in the less locale, which yes. I think somebody will take you up to, yeah. And, and we finished four minutes late in the end, so I'm, so I'm very happy to say that uh, as a chairman, my timekeeping was excellent. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Where are, the, where are the voting slips? Does everybody have a voting slip? There, uh, there's, only, well, there's only one thing, actually, because we, we, we didn't plan this uh, too well, I have to be honest. And the thing is that the live streaming would need to know. 
So I'll come down and announce to the live streaming before okay. I go upstairs. Okay, so we do announce it before here, and then we come upstairs. Yeah, but we'll, I but mean, we'll just do it one second. It's sort of just to facilitate that while you leave, you leave your vote, so that it's easy. But where are the voting slips? Where are the voting? You've got them all. Okay, great, excellent. Okay. Very good. But we don't have pens. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody want a pen? <laughs> No, I, I, I want to suggest something, which is, oh, again? Okay. I want to suggest something, which is maybe we can do, uh, like, counting the votes, like, instead of saying the final one, saying, okay, this one, one, this one, one, this one, one, this one, one, no? No? No, I, I, I think, uh, okay. I think... Okay. No, because no, just to make transparency that we are not like faking. I will. The I will. I will bring. Something. I will bring all the votes you know? up, and if anybody wants to check them, they're very welcome to do so. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's I don't surprise. want to be accused that we, at the end, <laughs> after all this transparency, make fake. Um, okay. Thank you. So if, if you can give your slips, folded or, or visible, un invisible or visible, to uh, Judith or Matteo, who are just waiting at the door. So please vote in here, and then uh, when you leave, hand the vote over to Matteo or to Judith, and we'll gather them all, stay down here and count them. Thank you very, very much for coming, and thanks for your patience. Hello to those of you at home. You're hearing this first. Actually, it will be announced uh, uh, elsewhere to the rest of the, um, the audience that was actually here that voted. Um, we had a total of 40 votes cast. Um, and uh, the winner, and the only thing we're going to announce today, the winner is the Silent University. Um, so uh, they, Ahmed uh, Oyut, and the Silent University will receive 25,000 euro to develop the project in Paris and also to support the developments in London, Stockholm and in Berlin. So to Ahmed, if you're watching, very, very good congratulations. Um, and to all the other projects, thank you very, very much for submitting. I hope you enjoyed the debate. Sometimes it might have been critical, but I hope uh, in any case it was uh, stimulating or you could at least disagree with the comments that you heard. Uh, and, um, and to all of you who were watching today, I know there were some disruptions, so I'm sorry about that. But to all of you that were watching, I hope you uh, enjoyed everything and uh, we will um, see you again in a couple of years or if not in some other occasion in the future. Thank you very much indeed. Goodbye.